Hey guys, this is Nilo here today. Um, so first off, I like to thank you all guys. Thank you, thank you all of you um, for subscribing to my videos. I sent you guys a quick bulletin post. It says just want just want to shout out quick thank you to all of you guys. I have reached ninety one subscribers. It was ninety when I wrote that. Um, just nine more to hundred. Thank you all for subscribing. I feel more encouraged than ever before, so I'll be posting a few more videos this weekend. Thank you all, and a smiley face. So I have 91 subscribers currently, and I just, I'm just really at a loss for words here. Um, I never thought I would make it this far. I thought I would just, you know, crash and burn at around 50, but it just kept going on and on. So, you know, this is a rumor video, a rumor roundup number two. I posted the first video um, a couple months back, around the f first month when I was on YouTube, but I just want to clarify a few things. Um, So first off, we have the MacBooks. The MacBook itself has a code name called Brick, something related to it. People, a lot of people think that it's related to the new MacBook, but some people, there's a small chance that some people think that it relates to a new product. Um, someone said on MacRumors.com that it could be the Brick could mean uh, solar power, but I think this is highly unlikely since most laptops are used indoors, and indoors is where you don't have sunlight. You have artificial light, like lamps and things, but you don't have sunlight. And, you know, lamps, they don't do much. They don't, get, they don't provide you enough power to run your laptop. Now, second uh, is MacBook Pro. Now, the MacBook Pro is, it looks like this, or it, these are leaked spy shots. It looks like it has a dock here, where you can flip through instead of up here in the screen. Uh, but the picture below it, it kind of highly contradicts it. Look, it just has, uh, oops. It has a dock here, and here's the trackpad. This one looks butt ugly. Okay, I'm really sorry for saying that, but it just looks really thin and black, the trackpad. It just looks really uncomfortable. I don't like the black trackpad. I mean, I like the white trackpad, it's okay, but it gets dirty after a while. I like the aluminum trackpad on the MacBook Pros and the MacBook Airs right now, but the black one just looks really uncomfortable. I just, I just don't like it at all. Now, second, there's gonna be a black display bezel. I'm not sure about the um, top shell because one of them doesn't show top shell and the other one shows high uh, black gloss top shell and I think this is also highly unlikely. Um, it takes its cues from the de uh, iMac desktop since the back is also you know black but this is really looks uncomfortable. So next rumor. I'm not sure about this but um, oops. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure about this, but the i iMac is due for a processor bump. It will probably be bumped to the uh, latest processors, maybe Centrino 2.0. I'm not sure. Also, the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini right now still has an AirPort G. It doesn't even have N, and the processors are really old. They're getting too old. So I think Apple will probably probably replace Mac Mini with a um, super driveless, um, you know. Mac Mini it will probably look like the Apple TV, that kind of thin, that thinness and that shape. So it's kind of cool where you can stack it and everything. And second, the MacBook Air. Uh, MacBook Air will receive the same. It uses the same um, SSD as the, or uses the same hard drive as the SSD. Uh, I mean, same hard drive as the iPod Classic. And since the iPod Classic has, you know. Um, 120 gigabytes at the size and speed of the 80 gigabytes one. So I think Apple will probably be replacing the, since both both uh, iPod Classic hard drive and the MacBook Air hard drive are the same part number, same same part. Um, you know they can be interchanged with each other. So I think uh, MacBook Air will probably get a new processor since Intel released or announced their new um, processor the second generation to the MacBook Air one, and it's available for everyone, not just Apple. And the SSD 80 gig is really small to some people, so 100 gigabytes is probably enough. I have 120 gigabytes in my hard drive, and I find it plenty. So thanks for watching this video. It's just a quick rumor roundup with a few tech you know, updates thrown in, such as this one I forgot. CS3, CS4 is out or available for pre-order, and the prices, everything are the same as the CS3, and um, Photoshop it does not is not 64 bit it's still 32 bit but in CS5 
Photoshop will be 64 bits on Snow Leopard. Also, the App Store, you cannot post reviews without buying an app first. So that kind of limits some people, you know, to posting bogus app reviews with misleading information. So thank you all guys for watching. Um, I hope it was a good video to you guys. And um, I'll, please comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see, I'll see you guys soon in my next video.